well good evening lovelies um yeah it's been a bit hectic the past half an hour i have a seven-year-old that's um very tired and thinks that the world is going to end because she can't watch something on tiktok anyway so how are we doing this evening hope you're well um Let's have a look. Let's get the comments up. Say hi if you're here. Well, hello, Lucy. How are you doing? I've made a very big mess, as you might be able to see on the screen. Have a nice, you know, a nice... But we're going very girly this evening. Um, I have worked out how to make a flower, 3D flower, no less on let me just turn my sound off because that might help okay let's have a look so i've been fiddling about today because i knew that this stamp set these were petals and you should be able to make a flower using the center so what i've done is I've had a bit of an experiment, which I'll go into in a minute, but we'll just wait and see if any more people come on. Um, oh, I've frozen. Oh, no, caught up. <laughs> Not entirely sure what's going on with the internet. Okay, say hi if you're watching. You say hello, hello, hello. Um, hope everyone's having a lovely Easter weekend. And... Have you got any plans? We don't really have plans. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you really, yeah, you're right. You wouldn't call it, uh, it wouldn't be craft if you didn't make a mess, would it? <laughs> okay. So, I'm not sure what this is going to be yet. I don't know because we know I know I need to make a wedding card at some point, but this is very going to be very girly, so I don't think it would be for the man of the house. That's for sure. So I have in my little box. Um, I've been cutting out. Save you listening to the machine going, chopping out all the pieces. I've cut out of some gold foil, some of the um, forever fern sweet dies then i've been cut this is absolute look at that oh stunning it's like a rose gold it is so beautiful like a pinky tinge rose gold um and there's some um the leaves from the delicate petal suite i'll show you all the things and um all the sets i'm using in a bit um, and there's a gold version and then in the bottom i've got some very tiny um little flowers these ones which I cut out. Um, this is retiring, so if you want it, get it now. Um, and it just it literally cuts out six little tiny flowers in one go. And then if you move your if you move it just to the left or the right, you can get in between where the flowers have been, so you're not wasting so much paper. Um, I've also cut had well no sorry I didn't cut the butterflies out. The butterflies are left over from the other day when I did some craft um i think that's about it in there oh and i made a center for my flower with the rose gold and it looks a bit stunning so i'm going to show you how um how i made the flower and how i practiced to get the flower um this one is tasteful label dies and I've cut a couple of them out just in case I want them for the for the label after. But I've not decided exactly what I'm doing yet. But I've got some papers out. Um, and what I did was is I got my sheet and I had a practice. So to start with, though, I stamped the centre onto some of my masking paper and made a little... A little mask and I cut it slightly smaller so I cut inside the lines not outside the lines inside the lines so that I didn't get the gap so when you cut it then when you stamp it sorry then you get 
it, you don't get like um, a halo. <laughs> and I, I don't like it when that happens. So this was my first one and I did too many petals and didn't go close enough in. So I've got gaps. It just looks a bit weird. This was my second and I could have squeezed two there and I didn't. So there was eight petals on there, which never seems to work with flowers. You have to have odd numbers. So this one has nine and it worked perfect. Took the mask off and it looks lovely. So what I did then was I stamped this one, but I stamped it in rich razzleberry. Um, and then the center I stamped, I think, in something, but I've put about four or five different colors on top of that since then. Um, and I'm still not quite happy with it. <laughs> um, and then I fussy cut all the way around. But then when I fussy cut it and cut out just the white bit, it left me with these pieces at the bottom still joined. So it didn't really act like a flower as such. So I got my snips and I've trimmed them quite far down now to the middle. So then you just manipulate... I've just stroked the lee, the petals and it makes them curl under. And then I'm going to do it again because I've squashed this since I made it. Um, and then when you put it down, when you stick it down, it will be more 3D on your paper. And then I've cut a little rose gold um, centre, which will go in the middle. And it will make sense when I start putting all the other pieces on. To do the colouring... I coloured with my Stampin' Blends and I used Rich Razzleberry, which is retiring. So grumpy. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, so I did the dark first in the centre and then out towards the middle of the leaf. Not in a symmetrical anything, just scribbled it on. And then I took the light Rich Razzleberry and I coloured the rest and then I did circle motions where the joins were to blend them in and I have a flower and I think it's and I'm really impressed with that can you tell <laughs> oh let's say hello oh hi Mindy hi Linda hi Janice hi Delinda oh my goodness everyone's here <laughs> well not everyone right okay so then I was thinking right well I want to make a card so I've grabbed I'm not sure what colours are in this one because the lovely Ruth gave me some um, a, a little bit of paper to play with. Um, but I think they go together quite well. So I'm going to use this one is Blushing Bride. And this one is from, I want to say, Art Gallery. Does anyone know? <laughs> um, actually, Mindy, I have no idea why they're retiring um current blends maybe they have a plan up their sleeve i'm not quite sure um that is beautiful paper isn't it it's gorgeous it's got like a a painted like um i don't know what you'd call it anyway <laughs> it's got like a 3d effect to it when you look at it properly um there is some other let me just i don't know how many i've got left but there's some other papers in there. Um, yeah, it is. It's, it's art gallery. I know it is now. Definitely. Okay. Um, and they are just gorgeous papers. And then you have the other sides, which is sort of more subtle. Ooh. No, no. I was right. That one, the one I chose was the right one. Don't change your mind, Wendy. Okay. So we had a bit of a blip. I was trying to use the iPad again and I've been fiddling with it for about an hour and it's just not, it's just too old. We can't update our Facebook. We can't put the Facebook app on it. It's having none of it. Right, so I'm going to make a card base because I'm useless and I haven't made one yet. So move the cutter out of the way before I chop it in half. So I'm going to score it at 14 and a half centimetres. fold it in half and chop off the extra little bit because I don't like messing about as you know oh see look I just scored that one <laughs> scored it before I trimmed it off it's all right and then I'm going to cut it in half with the score line across the middle 
at ten and a half and I have two card bases. So then I will need a piece of this beautiful I wanted to go the other way. Oh that's it, I'm gonna make it just look all wasted now. Right, so you trim this one at ten centimetres. Those strips always come in handy, it's fine. <laughs> it will get used by 14 so I do the the this piece half a centimeter smaller than the card base so that when you put it on you've got a beautiful border all the way around so we'll just keep this piece for now so that we can decorate it I was toying with the spotty and I was toying with the floral and I was toying with the quite pink foil paper and this one won so oh rogue leaf so let's have a look so basically we've used delicate petals and I've cut out a couple of the flowers where are they a couple of these um, and they are gorgeous um, and this stamp set I absolutely adore it so I will not be these will be staying with me that's for sure okay so in here like I said before I've got lots of little bits and pieces that I've cut up and we are going to create something around my flower <laughs> okay so um, and I might even if we've got time I'll show you how I stamped the flower okay I'm obsessed with pink today I don't know what's going on so where do we want my flower up here so then we need some like beauty up there do we want to mix gold and pink I don't know not that one anyway because that would be too much the samey um I've also cut some vellum which is always good um and these flowers are stunning in foil you can still shape them you can still do that and then I like to put the little one on top of the the larger one like so um I've got a pink one and I've got a gold one cut out ready okay and I even have a butterfly that maybe will you know show its face because when you put it onto the foil it kind of takes on the foil color it turns pink spooky eh okay so we're gonna pop that in there what else we got in here we've got this one and it always I love this piece because if you're doing um, like a circle sentiment this sits at the side or above or below and you can pop a little cu couple of little flowers here and it looks beautiful or you can rip it in half and use it on your card like so oh I don't know if it goes in you oh, I'm gonna put it on and then I'm gonna decide okay oh that's it destroying it all now we need my tweezers hang on okay, I can't find the right ones now I know. oh hang on here they are Okay, it, start, it, may, it helps me to put them in place and then they don't fling back out again because my fingers don't... And I'm saying that and these are sticky. Why? I get glue everywhere. Mum will tell you I've got glue all over my scissors. Naughty, naughty. Okay. Um, maybe we should put some vellum underneath. Get out of the way. Some vellum first on that bit. I don't like the gold, sorry, it's going. Laters. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe I'll move it. I'm going to break I'm gonna cut this down because I don't need it quite so big. But some of the leaves are attached, so you have to just trim them off as inconspicuous as possible. So let's put that there. Quite like it going like that. And 
maybe like that and then i'll get some pink can you all see me uh, let me move up a bit there we go the camera's moved by the look of it lift me flower up put some bits and then we'll have a look what it looks like um what else we got these are rather nice i like to just give them a bit of a scrunch 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 pop that on there and then i've got a i don't even know what i don't i, I don't know what that is but we'll use it anyway there we go um, and then we'll use the vellum pieces from the leftover bits just to pop so that it actually looks like it's supposed to be matching the other side. Oh, we've got a gold one. I don't think I did a shock horror. Didn't cut out um, the other one. Okay, so let's have a little check of our... I'm going to glue the centre to my flower. Oh, don't you just love it when you get to open a new glue? A new glue. There we go. That's better. It's not going to move around anymore. Kind of annoying. Okay, so that will go there. I could have a butterfly on the flower like that. I think that's quite cute. Um, okay hi Lorraine sorry hi Ruth <laughs> rubbish I am rubbish <laughs> okay I'll get the hang of this eventually I promise uh, what else we got I do have this flower but I don't know if it's going to be too much if I put this on there as well just tucked in there yeah, no, this this flower is the star of the show. I'm going to leave that like that. We need more on this bit. Take that bit out. I think what I'll do is I'll intertwine the vellum with the rose gold. And pop it like that. I'm going to put my butterfly on there. Oh, I don't know if you can see the vellum very well, but um, it's very pretty. Okay, and then what else have we got? See these ones. I've got I've got some teeny weeny babies. Need me need me spongy thing. Okay, I need my um, pick tool. Let's get me pick tool a second so I can get them out of the out of here. Much easier when you've got a sticky, sticky pick tool. And then when we've got them, where's the tiny babies? There's no. I know they're in there somewhere. Oh, there's one. Okay, and then what I do is I grab my, if I can find it, oh, look at that, it found straight away, my embossing tool, and then just push right in the centre, and they bend and shape a bit, which makes them look like a flower. I know, I'm sad. Okay. I think maybe we should glue some down as well first. So I'm going to move that out of the way. Put my babies over there. I'm going to move a bit closer. Okay. So I'm going to glue these two together. With a little bit of liquid glue. And then the little bit of... Oh, little bit, Wendy. Little bit. Steady on, Neddy. On there like that not sure about that leaf we'll have a go with that again in a minute okay so i'm going to glue this one down 
And then I'll glue the other two onto it as well. So put that one there. You could use the, you know, you could use the same principle to decorate the top of a box. Um, pretty much um, anything that you want to decorate, really. Now I'm sticky. See, I haven't got my uh, alcohol gel stuff by me either, which is just, you know, terrible. Okay. I think that's... There we go. I think it needs Winker Stella. Definitely think the petals do to make it match all of the bling that I've put on here. Okay, this one I'm going to put a little bit higher. Like so. And then maybe one of these just to sort of break up the leaves all being the same. Pop that on there. See, originally the centre that I made was um, crushed curry. <laughs> it, it didn't go with what other colours I wanted to use, so um, it had to go, sorry. So there we go. Stick that down there. It's missing something. Oh, what did I get the other day? Ooh, let me have a look in my drawer. Uh... See, this is gold but i think it would that would it'll go i think so normally i would have put it underneath first before i glued the flower down but today that is not how it has gone <laughs> so let's have a look um um, I think so, Ruth. I can't see why not. Aaliyah's still awake at the moment, though. She's downstairs with Daddy. Hi, Vicky. Okay. I'm just wondering if I can just sneaky, sneaky it in. Because I did put a bit of a big dollop of glue on there. Too much? <laughs> nah. Um, this one is from the Forever Fern Suite. So this is retiring. It's the gold... Um, not twine, is it? Yeah. I can't remember. Apologies. I did try and write things down, but I can't even find the piece of paper I wrote it on now. Okay, so a few of these pieces... That I am using are retiring. Um, need to check if um, there's stock of them because obviously they've all been the ones that are retiring. Quite a few of them have now got a discount on. Some items were up to seventy five percent off bargains, and depending on where you're from, it depends on what. The discount would be then um because it depends on how much say sorry i say it depends a lot <laughs> um so it depends on warehouse stock as to how much they discount items depending on the area <laughs> janice <laughs> i know I've, i i'm not quite sure <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether I've been naughty. <laughs> Hi, Levine. Okay. So, I've put the butterfly on. It's not sticking very well, but I've stuck him on. And that's that bit. Now we're going to glue it onto the card. See, now what I'm going to do is I might leave the sentiment off because I don't know what I'm going to put on it, to be honest. I might save it for a special birthday or I might, 
use it as a what and see wedding cards i always i me personally i like a long card or an a5 card so i'm not sure so anyway we shall glue this down if i can do it without getting glue everywhere because when i have a new glue i always squeeze too hard <laughs> okay I'm going to stick that down. If I can stop it sticking to my fingers, that would be great. Oh dear me, it's going all shades of wonky. Oh no, it's not. It's okay. It's all right, we rescued it. There we go. Right. We didn't use the little babies, did we? But... I don't know. Maybe it needs a bit of bling. And actually, I don't know if they're the right colour, to be fair. But I wanted to use the rich razzleberry because it's it's leaving us. No. Can't use them. They're all the wrong colour. <laughs> um, have I got any, any other ones we could use? I'm waiting for some new ones to come. Maybe a couple of pink ones, but they're they're you know, there's no um I've had them for a very long time. So we should just, you know, we'll ignore this. If it was stamping up ones, I would use the stamping up ones. But I don't have any the right shade. So Heidi ho. Use what you've got. Put a little bit of bling. And maybe one right in the middle. And then maybe one on the butterfly. Just because I can. And voila. Uh, for the inside, I will probably... Uh, I will probably stamp just a sentiment. Um, I like to put flowers in each corner as well. Um, have I got any paper out? Let me just grab some paper. I'll do the, the inside as well. Um, I'm going to use very vanilla, I think. Sounds very industrious. Okay. Oh, nearly knocked all my little baby flowers everywhere then. You'd think. Oh, I've got um, I've got a huge desk compared to what I used to have, and I still fill it with stuff. <laughs> oh. Okie dokie. Right. So we want to go this way so that we can use. We could use one half as a card base then if we wanted to. So I cut it at ten and a half, but then I'm going to trim another half off. Actually, I'm going to trim it the other way first. So 14 this way. And then 10 this, this way. So that I still get a border of pink on the inside of the card, which I'll show you in a minute pop that out of the way let's move some stuff move some stuff 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 let me blend tidy okay so we'll bring back in our delicate petals and um what we'll do is we'll strategically place this one so it's coming out of the corner maybe like like that Okay, where's me block? Are you going to be big enough? Yes. So, because I've done the outside of the cards in rich raspberry, I will stamp these in rich raspberry. So, I'm just going to ink up half the stamp because I don't need the whole entire thing. So, I will. Stamp in the corner. 
turn it around. I don't know why that's two tone. <laughs> and then we'll stamp in the other corner, like so. And I shall clean this if I can get to the shower. Buried it. Just clean it off because, um, although it's already stained pink, but so it doesn't stain it anymore. Now I have heard a trick with um, the, oh, what's it called, Versamark. Um, I think it was Jennifer Maguire actually. She said that if you stamp with Versamark, wipe it, wipe it off, um, stamp again, wipe it off, and then on the third time, don't wipe off the Versamark, and then stamp in your ink and stamp on the thing, and then when you clean it, it comes off lots cleaner. That didn't sound like very good English, did it? I do apologise. Lots good cleaner, yeah. Okay, so we want a little just a couple of little sprays because I love these and I need to put them everywhere basically and I'll do them both slightly different okay just clean that off Any leaves are trying to escape out of there. Just put that one back in while I'm here. And then we'll take the other little one. I do them all the same colour just because it's the inside of the card. So it doesn't need to be quite as extravagant as the outside. <laughs> but I do like to make it look pretty. Um, and then I would stamp something through the middle. Um, and sometimes I'll I'll stamp like third generation and then put it on top of my sentiment so it gives it a bit of a um a background like i did before with the church okay let me clean this off Just clean these stamps put them away okay so then we'll bring back in our card and open it up See what I mean? I'm slightly heavy handed with the glue when it's new. Gently does it. Gently, gently. Okay, dokie. And then we glue this on the inside. And then because we've put things on the front, by putting a liner inside, you're um, balancing the card so it's not quite so front heavy because sometimes cards will just slide down. So it'll stand like that and there you go what time are we on oh we've only been here half an hour <laughs> um okay um right i'll show you how i made the flower okay it's okay right where's my mask here's my mask keep it there um Okay. so then what I did was I took the centre stamp there's my little block I did have the very small block two seconds ago and now it's gone Oh, it's in my chamois box. That's very bizarre. Okay, I'm just going to clean that because it looks a bit dusty now. I left it out. Naughty me. Okay. Um, right, so this time I am going to go for... What colours should we... What colours do you think we should do this time? Um... Bearing in mind what blending pens I've got, maybe Bermuda Bay or uh, Crushed Curry. 
well it would be crushed curry outline but it would be daffodil delight colored in because that's what i've got <laughs> um bermuda bay i do have i do have the blending pens and i have the ink so next i need more yellows <laughs> okay what do we think Shall we go Bermuda Bay or Daffodil Delight? Anybody? Just going to put the glue away. I know that Facebook is delayed compared to me. <laughs> so let's have a look. Just going to tidy up a bit. Daffodil. Okay, we're gonna go daffodil and crushed curry. Hopefully, the crushed curry will blend in a bit when I colour it with the um, daffodil delight. Okay, Ta -da! right. So we're gonna put this back onto a block. So you just take your center, your little centery pretty circly thing <laughs> i've got great english words okay and then stamp the middle but then i get my mask which is looking a bit worse for wear now to be honest i'm just gonna try and uh, it'll be fine it'll be fine okay and i'm gonna stick it on top um and you can see that you can see the yellow around the outside of that this is what I'm hoping will stop my halo appearing. I've just stuck my thumb in the... Do you know what? I can't be trusted. Seriously, I stuck my thumb in the, <laughs> in the crushed curry. Right, so, the stamp, stampy stamp. Now, I do find this one is doing that whatever everyone else is saying theirs is doing. <laughs> but it'll manage okay, so it's fine. So we're just going to go round the outside so the petals touch each other here but the other part is going into the centre. So just talk amongst yourselves while I, um, you know. <laughs> and then we go around the outside. Now we should get nine so we've got six so far. It's a little bit wonky, but flowers are not perfect. <laughs> there we go. Nine petals. And then when you take the middle off, your flower has stayed beautiful. So let me just clean that off. There we are. Okay, so then when I want to colour it, I still haven't put my colouring video on. I'm sorry, I've been a bit poorly, so I've not edited my videos. Right, so what we do, well, what I do, not everyone does it this way. Some people do it light first, then the dark. Um, I just colour up the petal just a little bit, you know, about one and a half centimetres at the most, I think. Just going up, try not to make it too even. Um, I am a very, um, everything has to be just right. And this is good at making me not do it that way. Okay, so then we go in with the light daffodil. And we just colour the top. Well, look at that. Isn't that weird? <laughs> the colour, because I'm using a scrap piece to show you, the colour from the other side of the paper is coming through. And I think it's because I did it in black. I might need to do it again, actually, on another piece. I'll get a, I'll get a fresh piece because then I can use the flower on something. See, that'll teach me for trying to be uh, a cheapskate. Okay, and I'm going to do it on basic white because I think that the yellows would show better on a white 
and it's so quick and easy to do anyway that it won't take me won't take me a minute to do it again okay so we get our middle let's get our back our ink and then we're just going to stamp there then we're going to get our mask put our mask on like so and then we're going to take our petal and it's just gone in i don't know if you can see um i'm not very good at zooming in i'm a, sorry let me just okay it's just in by sort of um half a centimeter of the of the end of the petal so in about that far my fingers covering all the way around on the thing making sure that your petals don't overlap I think this set has really been overlooked and I don't know why because it is a uh, it is really versatile and it is beautiful the details in the flowers are just gorgeous The last one there we go and then we take off our mask and this mask i've done like four or five five this would be the fifth um flower i've made with that mask and it's still going strong so you know it's worth getting yourself a, um, a sheet of paper of masking paper and just close that Okay, so dark. Go around the edge. Going up on the paper. Up the edge. Just a little bit like so and i'm going to come in with the light daffodil delight i haven't long had this the daffodil delight and i think i definitely need the ink it's a rather pretty color okie dokie i have got all the in colors coming with you so we're just waiting for that parcel to arrive. It'll take a little while because I have, they have been very busy. So I'm just chucking the colour on for now and then I'll blend it in just a second when I've finished. I have um, some alcohol coming tomorrow. I can't I can't say the word. It's ISO something. <laughs> um, I've ordered it today after watching. Um, it wasn't a Stampin' Up video, but she did a an alcohol ink technique on vellum, which um, I quite liked. So I'd like to have a go at that. So I'll probably do a video on that this week coming. I haven't done a video this week. I'm sorry. I've not quite been 100% and that just makes videos very long <laughs> and you don't want you don't want a two hour video of me making a card okay so just keep going round blending it in doing circular motions onto the where the join is between the dark and the light and going up a little bit And then eventually, there we go, it all blends in. So it blends it and it looks very pretty. Um, I'm just going to cut it out. Try not to waste me paper. <laughs> 
so you can just fussy cut if you want to do a border like they do when you do a die then that's fair enough that's up to you but i really don't like having a halo so i just cut all the way down maybe not quite as much as i just did um i've made a gap and that wasn't the plan so i think i'll go back to what i did before and i just cut down to where the white disappeared and then just did one single snip to the bottom like that when i did that one just now i tried to do it where i did the v and it's gone a bit too far in you probably won't notice once i folded it and molded it and everything but you know perfectionist and all that kind of thing don't like it <laughs> okay so we're just going to take that off there. I'm hoping I'm staying within the camera because it seems to have moved again. The stand, you would giggle if you could see my stand because it's it's a bodge job, to be honest. But for now, it will do. Work with what you've got. That's got to be the saying of the week. Work with what you've got. If you haven't got the right colour just improvise and pick a different colour that, that goes with what you're working with if you haven't got a stamping up stamp set find one of your own that will do the similar job so close to you aren't i <laughs> okay janice <laughs> conspired yeah i did that's my whole goal this evening. <laughs> Janice, I did not get a notification of your video. I got notifications of about three different people's videos, but not yours going live. Wasn't that rude? And then I forgot you said you were coming on because I was flapping, trying to get everything sorted um, and trying to make sure the kids were fed. Um um my seven-year-old she's been to a friend's house today who she's in school with um i just she needed a break basically so we just let her go and actually it did her the world of good until it came to bedtime because the day has gone so fast because she loved it she just could not believe and would not believe that it was um that it was bedtime and we were like yes but elsie it's eight o'clock it's time to go to bed but it can't be i've only been home for five minutes no love you've been home since six <laughs> it's been two hours <laughs> so yeah so i think she's a bit tired and her friend had chicken has has had um some chickens for a, for an easter present off her granddad because they're living with their granddad at the moment while mum and dad are saving to build their own house so she's got her own chickens and the chicken laid an egg so they had to have scrambled egg for lunch which elsie loves so she's thoroughly enjoyed herself oh look at that oh i'm really liking this color good choice of color gay guys gays guys <laughs> sorry guys um oh hi mum <laughs> bit late to the party or have you been watching but couldn't find the comments is that what you're trying to say okay so there we go so we could use the yellow one as well so what have we been on we've got 10 minutes left what can we do in 10 minutes do you reckon um i do have would gold go with that oh yes oh we like that um the other thing i've got as well where's the other piece to that then where, where 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 i cut some bits out with vellum but it didn't cut out very well for some reason i don't know why because i've not had any issues until i wanted to use them for my video clearly so i did notice it might actually clash does that clash mm. does that look quite cute maybe on the blue or maybe 
on spotty or oh, like that on the spotty one okay so i'm gonna put it similar to the other one but i am gonna try and use see i thought i'd cut out the smaller shapes with these let me just just check they're not on my desk somewhere no i can't see them Oh more vellum basically is what I'm finding. Some more vellumy bits. Oh yes, and then some um I can't remember what they're called now. Let me just find the stamp set. The dies. And I will tell you what they're called. Oh tasteful labels and these are carrying these are carrying over, so um I quite like them for layering up vellum is my friend i've um i've used quite a lot of mine and i've only had it like a week and a half ish but yeah i want to use oh there he is look there right let's just get rid of the bits that are in the middle and this die set is really good because when most of the time when you pick them up all of the little bits have come out So I want to have that. I want to have that there. I don't know. We're just going to go with the flow right now because I don't actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> just guessing. Okay, let's stick that. There. I'll probably watch it later Janice because last night I could not sleep I did not get very much sleep last night at all so and I don't even feel tired right now which is bizarre because I go from one extreme to the other I'm either very tired falling asleep on the chair every time I sit down even if I'm just stopping for a cup of tea or I can't sleep at all and that's just the way it is for me now so we have to just go with the flow in it. <laughs> now, does that? Maybe if I layer it a bit more. Maybe if I put that one there. And then put that one on top. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm going to make that first. So, we need a bit of liquid glue. Right, steady on now, Wendy. Steady with the glue. Oh, see, look, big blob. Spread it out, spread it out. Don't want to see it through the vellum anyway, really, do we? I have I have noticed, though, it does dry clear. So half the time you can't see my, uh, my splodges. <laughs> I'm renowned for making a mess with glue. Yeah, definitely. Although vellum does not like sticking to foil. I might add. I do like to layer things up. Is that going to stay there now? I think so. Then I'm going to put a bit of glitter glue on that one. Just a little bit. And stick the, the gold to that one. And then the vellum. If it doesn't stick, you can use um, glue dots or um, some tear and tape because you can't see them through it. So, but that looks quite glamorous. I think that can go there. Bit of glue, sticky, sticky. See, it helps if your fingers aren't sticky because then when you stick your fingers down to push it down, it sticks to your finger and tries to come off. 
honestly right i don't think i cut out another center for the flower itself so i think i'll just leave it like that because it's still pretty gorgeous and shape it a bit more right so do we want any more any more for any more over the sides maybe some vellum on that maybe a couple of leaves oh there's another one there see this one's gone all like wonky donkey and I normally I want it to be wonky donkey but right now not now not yet not yet my pretty There we go. Right, we're going to do the sticky downy <laughs> bit. So, little tiny, you don't need very much glue. I, The only reason I'm using a bit of glue is because I'm being too heavy handed with a new bottle. I don't normally use this, use much. Um, so, just some little tiny splodges. Stop splodgy splodging. Okay. So making sure it doesn't go... It can go off the very edge of the card because we're going to have um, a card base that... Um, a card base that comes out another half a cent... Well, half a half centimetre. <laughs> 2.5 millimetres. Hey, Manda! Okay, so then I'm just going to pop glue on this one and we want it to be up there okay I'm sorry my fingers are all sticky now right fleur so we'll put fleur there Okay, so then the leaves are going to go on here. Just kind of breaks up the gold if you add a bit of vellum as well. Not that the vellum likes to stick to foil. So <laughs> just gonna, I'm just going to wipe my fingers a second. Honestly made such a mess messy moo no wonder the kids are messy in this house it's because of me okay do we need that so what i'm going to do i think is put some glue in between the gold pieces so that when i put this on here it's sticking to the paper rather than on the foil so then it will stick well that's the theory anyway you know <laughs> Right, so that should go there then, shouldn't it? But, oh, see? Let's get our... Right, this time I'm going to do it in one sweep instead of doing two because last time I kind of... I didn't do a very good job, I've got to say. So I want it quite long, so it sticks out either side. And I've just pulled my vellum off because my string got hold of it. Behave yourself. Okay. So I'm going to put it in the middle. Like so. And you're going to go up there because you belong on the other side. And I think that's going to be long enough. So put a bit of glue in the middle, pop them on, and then pop the flower on. And that will hold them all in place. Like so. I do feel like it needs a bit of bling in the middle, but 
Maybe we can put some gems on it in a minute. Um, okay, so I don't think I've got any gold. Okay, so I need a piece of... I'm going to go with crushed curry because the outer lines are crushed curry. need to get me um need to get me card bases all chopped up again because i've run out again <laughs> helps if i put my trimmer back in the same place every time okay do you know what i really this spotty paper I, when i first saw it i thought oh, i'm not going to use that i'm going to go with a different card base this time so i'm going to score this way this time um, I just thought I wouldn't use it, um, and I've used it quite a lot in um, a few different cards now. Okay, I'm just going to trim off that excess piece. I don't need to do that one, do I? Because it's already the right size, Doris. Oh, if you hear me say Doris, I would call everyone Doris. Ask my mum. <laughs> actually ask any family member that's on here <laughs> oh really Vanessa oh awesome good morning Australia right so we just need one card base for this and my bone folder is here nice little school there and then we will I didn't cut the spotty people. What is the matter with me? Look at that. Oh, this is going to be strategic now to trim it down because I didn't trim it. I assumed that it was already trimmed. Silly me. Okay, so I'm going to be very careful. Oh, I'm going to squash it now, aren't I? Put it upside down. need to take off that that much and it's going to kill my flower and my leaves just move them out of the way see we all make mistakes if i lift the petals up they can go on top of the on top of the trimmer for a second while i trim off the edge dear me this is not going well it is rescuable afterwards, but I don't recommend doing this. <laughs> there we go. Oh, goodness me. So always check your measurements. Don't just assume that because a piece of paper looks the right size, that it is the right size, because clearly that's not the way to do it. Oh, this way is all right anyway. So there we go. There we are, not too much damage done. Let's move that out of the way. Okay, right, turn it over. And again, I'm not going to put a sentiment on it. There are some really nice sentiments in this set, actually. I'll show you in a second. Um, there's some very nice... Um, there's a really nice birthday one. It's that way. So it's that way. Check, double check, triple check. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's wonky donkey again. Oh, see, wouldn't be live telly <laughs> if you didn't make mistakes. Okay, there we go. Right, I don't know. Did I have? I think I do. Where are my gems? There are some yeah, crushed curry ones in here. So where's me twizzers? Where's me twizzers I had before? Oh my goodness. Okay. I need to learn to be a little more 
organized okay we're going to use the pick tool because you know that's just as good actually think i might put some gems in the middle and then we're going to have a gem over here and a gem down here and a gem hmm needs to be odd should we put it there and there we go see i'm going out i'm good so i didn't go back out before i'm so sorry i will get the hang of it there we go i'm going to trim that bit a little bit shorter because it's going to be a pain in my butt <laughs> there we go spread them out a bit that one needs a gem I'm gonna to have to do that because the center of the flower has a hole in there we go there we go so we have the daffodil delight and we have the rich razzleberry using the delicate petals stamp set um, the butterfly is from the butterfly brilliant um, die set um, it's the outline butterfly which is pretty awesome so delicate petals has um i'm so happy you're my friend this is the one i was on about um wishing you a lovely but wishing a lovely birthday to you and then this one um, sometimes something wonderful happens to someone who absolutely deserves every good thing maybe a baby or a promotion um, there's a thank you for your kindness and a for you. I've got a tiny little bit of dotage. I think, I don't know whether that would um, make Delinda smile. Hi, Kathy. But, you know, there's dotage. There's tiny, but it's good. But these could be classed as dotage because these are so gorgeous. Um, and then the dies. Um, I've got two. Sorry, I'm trying to get the flowers because they're on the they're just on the side they're not back in the box so yeah so you get you can get separate petals as well as um it'll cut out the whole stamped flower image that i stamped inside and you've got you've got leaves and you can use them with or without the centers as well it's quite a really versatile stamp set so there we go i hope that was fun <laughs> um with my little mishaps and everything else that's going on <laughs> so um yeah so thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next saturday um hi harry and oh and harrod sorry <laughs> harry and harrod um yeah so i'm hoping that i'll be able to get a video out to you this week sometime um and i'm gonna um yeah so if you needed if you haven't got a demonstrator and you're within the uk and i can't remember the others germany yeah can't i have to learn that i'm going to stick a post-it note in front of me for next time so i remember um once i get the new catalogs if you need a new catalog just let me know i can send you one out for free um, and then if you fancy if there's anything you'd like to see me do next week a technique um, then I will gladly try and do my best to do that for you to show you if I've not done it before we can have a giggle together as I try <laughs> thank you so much for watching um, I'll see you all soon bye bye